Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. This is part two of making our own DIY notebooks and planners out of our Christmas cardboard. In this video we're going to be painting and decorating the books that we made last video. These are the planners and notebooks that we made in our last video. If you haven't seen the video yet, then click here. And these are what we're going to be DIYing today. We made these completely from scratch and we actually used a lot of cardboard that we got in the post from Christmas. This is a really good DIY thing to make and anyone can really make it. If you remember from our last video, we both have a range of materials left over and we're going to be using those as well as stuff we're picking in this video to decorate our books. Things that I've got left over are, I've got loads of coloured paper, loads of card, I've also got some brown um, box, and I've got some string. And I have this second box, which is just some cardboard, some leftover bomb things, and some paper, coloured blue paper. So, now we're going to take it in turns to choose some new paint and makeover materials that we'll use on top of our materials from last week. And this week we are going to be picking each other's new materials, so that'll be really fun. It'll be like a surprise. But now we're going to do rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Oh no! <laughs> How long has it been since I won? A long time. We've got four different options here, and these are all going to dictate the theme. Portraiture. Graphics. Pattern and illustration. So portraiture is like faces, there's a lot of kind of zoomed in features of your face. It's what I like doing in art the most. Graphics is kind of like small little, um, it's like icons and symbols. So pattern is anything kind of, it's kind of like geometric, but not geometric. It's repetitive. It's repetitive, <laughs> like symbols or anything like that. An illustration is a figurative kind of communication of something. And it's really commonly used in books. So when you illustrate the scenes and stuff going on, like oh. that's illustration. Oh. I like, the, I like them in the David Rallium books. Do you already know what you want? Uh, like in your head, basically. Yeah. I know what I want, so I'm gonna avoid picking that. I feel like you just looked at the one you wanted. <laughs> Didn't. I am gonna... Actually, I'm not gonna eliminate them because that gives away what I want. <laughs> no. Your pupils just... <laughs> Okay, I think Ruby's gonna want pattern. I'm gonna get you pattern. There you go. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, I don't know. I actually don't know. Oh no. <laughs> I can't tell your face is like poker face. So I think I'm gonna pick the one that I know you like. And I hope I'm right. Okay, so I'm gonna go with... <laughs> Portraiture. Thank you. For a second I thought you were going to pick this one, but if I wasn't going to pick portraiture, I'd pick this. So I kind of... Okay. Now we know the themes. I got portraiture and I got pattern. The next theme is media and we have four different options. It's Ruby's turn to go first. So we have mixed media. Don't you do this, GCSEs? Oh, you just do media, don't you? I don't this know. Is I don't know. I don't know. Paints. <laughs> then we have paper and markers. Paper, this could be collage, and markers, it could just be anything but in markers. Do you know what mixed media is? Okay, so all of these are media, all of these are individual medias. So, what does mixed media mean? All of these mixed? Yeah. So, I think I'm going to give you. I think, I feel like I want to see what you can do with like everything mixed together. Yeah. You're like arty. Thank you. That's the word. I immediately fixated on that one when I saw them all because I can't think of anything I want to do with just one yeah. thing. However, I could think of something for you that would look good with one and it's paper because you've got so much paper there and you did tell me an idea you have and I think it would look cool paper. So yeah. Paper. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you want that one? Yeah. Now on to the next round, which is accessories, and it's our choice what we do with these. So we have multicolored rubber bands with really, really bright pony beads. 
Then we also have these buttons. They're really cool, very vintage looking. Also with rubber bands, except these rubber bands are neutral. Then we finally have some wooden beads and some just elastic bands. I think I can confidently say that Ruby will not want these ones. I think you're gonna want these ones. <laughs> oh, thank you. I wanted these ones. Nothing against these, they're just not my cup of tea. So I've been thinking really hard about what to choose for you. And I feel like the best one that's gonna make your journal pop is this one. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I know you wanted that one because from the beginning, when, they, when we saw them, you were like, <laughs> this is our last round and these are even more accessories and I think these are meant to be used on the inside. Option number one consists of a circular hole puncher, some mini wooden pegs and some sticky notes with lines. Number two is a heart puncher, some love heart wooden hearts and some washi tapes and they're very patterny. Yeah. Finally. We have this very, very colourful one and it's like a leaf or a flower. What are these called? Tabs. Mm -hmm. Sticky notes. And then some 48 sticky tabs with some little patterns mm -hmm. on them. So I feel like I need to switch it up with yours, you know? Yeah. Make it colourful. Oh no. But I think that you won't want that. I think you like a bit more plain things. Thanks for describing my stylus. I think you like really plain things. I just mean. The more that. boring, the better. Thank you, this is actually what I wanted, so you're not wrong. <laughs> Yay! I don't think you're gonna want the pony bead style package. I think you're gonna want this one. Thank you! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use these. They're very cute. So this isn't a twin celebrity challenge, but we're gonna put a board up between us and we can communicate through the board, mm -hmm. but we can't give away what we're doing too much. So we have the divider up now and we can't see each other, but we can talk to each other. And now we're gonna go and get our materials. We've just got all of our materials to make over. I have got this, and this is actually left over from the last video. And I have some normal tools to use to decorate it. So they're the things I'm gonna be using, plus the other things I've already shown you earlier. I don't know what any of that was, but on top of the stuff that we've already got, our mum has also given us a black Sharpie and a white Fosca pen. We don't have to use these, but they might help finish our designs off. So, out of the media that I've just collected, I've got these. Ruby bought me these in a video, so you might know what I'm talking about. I also have these, which Ruby also bought in the same video. Then, I got this for Christmas. It's really, really cool. I'm really excited about it. I know. Yep. Yeah. So I actually am going to leave this how it is because I really like how it's looking and I don't really want to change anything about it. But this is going to have some accessories on it and it's going to be part of the bigger thing which is this. So this is what I'm actually going to be working with today and I'm going to cover this with this. I've got mixed media so I've got loads and loads of steps to mine and the first step is collage. I'm really excited for this because it's going to start it off. I'm sticking a card on, I'm sticking it on like this. And I'm using PVA glue to stick down some card onto some of the, I can't say what, paper? Oh yeah, yeah, that was your theme. So because the glue is still wet and it's buckling a bit, it's going up, I'm gonna add some books onto where I've stuck it down so it stays down and doesn't like come up. Okay, so while that is drying with the books on top of them, I'm going on to this and I've got my buttons out and I'm just picking one right now. Ooh. Which one I want to use as like the closer of the book. Oh, you're making closures? Yeah. I 
finished the collage now on the outside of my book and also on the inside. I have done my button. I think this really brings it to life. Well, this looks very vintage I think. And the paper is now dry, so I'm going to be folding it over and sticking it down onto the inside of the cardboard. Sounds good. The next thing I'm going to be doing is my pen. I'm not going to say what I'm going to be drawing or what I'm going to be putting it on. So these are the pens that I'm using. They're very, very good. They have two ends, a thick end and a thin end. And they blend out really, really nicely. She didn't think I'd be able to do because I didn't think I had anything. So I'm gonna do that now. Nice. I don't know if I'm gonna use my Posca. I might, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Yet. I finished drawing my thing now and I'm ready to cut them out and put them on my book with the collage. And I'm really excited for this part because it's all gonna start coming together now. Nice, so, yeah. I'm so excited to see that. I'm still doing the gluing, but it's turning out very, very nice. I can't wait to see. So I finished most of my mixed media now and I have one thing left to do. It is this. And I have finished basically the structure of it with the detailing. I just have some touches I want to do. Nice! I'm really excited to do that as well, but we are going to have to leave them overnight and come back to this tomorrow because it's getting late now and I'm getting hungry. Same. So we'll see you guys tomorrow to finish it all off. Yeah. Okay, it's the next day now and we're ready to finish off our notebooks and journals. So the first thing I'm going to do to finish off my notebook is I'm going to take this paper and I'm going to put it inside here. And I actually got this idea off really actually from the notebook from last week. If you saw that video, you'll know what oh, it is. Oh, the bind thing I did. Yeah, so I'm going to use that to stick some paper in here. I am going to add some finishing details and bring the whole design together and make it a bit less boxy with this. So I've now finished that and it it was really really easy to do actually it worked really well so really thank you for your idea I did oh you're welcome so now I've got some paper in my main journal so I'm just gonna add on a button to the front to make another closing oh cool I can't wait to see this button on the front and it's looking really good and now I just have to do one more thing till I do all the final detailing with all like the little details. So I'm gonna stick this down as a pocket onto my journal and you'll see that later. Sounds detailed, I'm still painting. Oh okay well I guess that's probably <laughs> a big part of it then. Yeah it is. my mixed media now. I'm going to use my second box to frame what I've done and I'm also going to use a hole punch in that. And then I've got to use my beads and my pegs and things but that is the final thing for my journal. That sounds very cool and yeah. definitely like artistic I feel like it's going to be. I've done the thing I needed to do with the little like pocket and now I'm just on to the final detailing with some tape some clips. Okay, sounds good. I can't wait to see.
finished now. I'm so happy of how mine looks. Same, I'm very happy and I'm really excited to see yours. I feel like it's yeah, gonna be like same. artistry type one. We'll find out. Now we're gonna take the board down. Yay! We do rock, paper, scissors. Yes. Oh, you did rock then. I kind of didn't know because I was doing it with my left hand. <gasps> High five, I won. So I'm gonna show first. I'm excited actually. Show your eyes. I'm gonna briefly show the camera first. This is what it looks like. I'm so proud of it. I'm really, really excited to use this. See, it's got a latch and it's completely different from Amazon packaging, which is what it stopped out as. Are you ready? Yes. That's the back. No. <laughs> That was so good. Wait, did you change all of that? I painted it all. And, well, yeah, it's mixed media. How long so, yeah. did that take? You've been here. That just looks like it's taken way more than like a few hours. Thank you. Look, I was right, it's very artistic. Yeah, you were. You were very right. It just carries on. It's so good. That's made a bit mark. <laughs> that is just so good. That is amazing. Thank you. It's so good. I really, really, I'm very proud of this. I wouldn't actually expect anything other than for you to do, to be honest. Thank you. So, this is the front. Basically, I started out with collage. I didn't do very much collage because I really liked the brown coming through. Then I went and took normal paper with marker and just roughed out some sketches of eyes. There are two on the outside and there are two on the inside. I honestly still can't believe you did that in like the course of like two days. Thank you. And there are some on the inside as well. And I got my watercolor paint and I basically just did a really, really dumbed down version of what I did as the main eye images. And then I took the hole puncher on some Amazon packaging and I just finished it off. I love it. My favourite one is probably either this one Thank you. or this. I just put some labels on so I can label the books. There are three here. And then something that I made today with my elastic bands and my beads is really, really cool. And it brings me back to when I used to do loom band. And I basically made a bookmark and it's entwined in the book. And it's really, really perfect because the way this book sits is a lot like a binder. And yeah, that's my binder. So that's my DIY journal made over. I'm so, so proud of it. I love it. On to you. Shut your eyes. So I'm going to show you in three, two, one. So this is mine and I love it so much. The front I feel like is the most simple part and you see in the middle when I show the really. And I still can't believe that this like came, started off as like an Amazon box and a bomb box. And now I'm going to show you. So open your eyes. Whoa. That makes my eyes go blurry and I don't know why. <laughs> Whoa! It looks like you bought it from that, a shop. That bit's really cool, like when you put it over, you know? It's like something you buy from a shop. This is the wrapping paper I used in our last video. It's really clean looking and that how you've done it is like really organised and it's nice to look at and it makes me want to be like school. Yeah. Mm. That's a stage up. Looks like it could be from Paper Chase. Oh, and you've got your little notebook. Did you um, structure this or was the box already structured? The box was literally already structured like this, which oh. makes it 10 times easier to do. Perfect. It's, it's so cool. It's, it's also really so cool. difficult to do. So this is my final notebook. It was made out of bomb packaging and Amazon packaging. So I have these cute little clips. So this is it from the front and the elastic just goes over like this, which I think is a really cool part of it. But also the good thing about the elastic is that it goes over here too. So not only does it keep it down over here, but it also shuts the whole thing overall. I just have an elastic in the middle of the paper, which just keeps it all together and it won't fall out at all, which is actually really, really good. And then I have this little flappy bit, which came with the Amazon <laughs> and I just put some tape around here to make it look really cool. And that just goes through with the notebook. And then I just have a classic notebook, a pouch over here. I use the hole puncher to punch out some hearts with a different colored paper. It all folds up really coolly like this. This actually just came like it, which is really lucky. Then the elastic on. And that's how it looks. I love this and I cannot wait to use it. It's definitely a very modern day, I'd say. I love it. I really love it. Thank you. 
So these are our final planners and notebooks made over and I love them so much. It's hard to believe that these were made completely from scratch from things that we had at home. Head over to the community page and comment whose you like the most, Ruby's or Rayleigh's. Or if you don't have a preference, just comment, comment what you like about them. So that's the end of our video. We really, really hope you've enjoyed. And we really hope this video inspired all of you to make your own journals, notebooks, planners, or diaries from scratch. If you do make any notebooks like what we've done in these videos, then make sure to email them to us or tag us on your story when you put them on there or just DM us with them. On that note, the first shout out for this video goes to Emma Lou. She makes loads and loads of art and DIYs on her Instagram and they're really, really cool. So make sure to go check them out. And this is her YouTube channel, so make sure to go check it out. We also want to shout out Reem Lua, who emailed us this beautiful painting of some waves. So look how cool it is. Thank you for that. If you want a shout out in a future video, either email us some of your artwork or DIYs, tag us on Instagram, or show your YouTube channel on our community page so we can look at your work. So that's it for today, and these are our journals. We're really, really proud of them. We hope you enjoyed our video. We love you. Bye. Ow. I'm just, I actually can't, like, I can't move. You're not taking me down with you. And then finally we have some wooden bean, be I keep saying beans now. Is that my hairband? It was on mum's wrist. Of course it was. Oh my lord. <laughs> pants. What <laughs> pants? No idea. On that note, the first chat first. On that note, the first... <laughs>